love most about ICO, I think our clinical experience. Um, they start you in clinic your very first year, which is awesome because you're taking all these classes and learning so much about the eyes and everything. <laughs> but then it's so nice to actually be able to see some patients and really realize like this is why I'm here. The patient demographic and the population of patients here that we see at ICO has definitely been a reason why I actually chose to come to school here. Uh, we see a number of different conditions that a lot of other schools probably wouldn't be seeing. Uh, we do see a lot of disease cases here and again I'd rather have a bunch of conditions thrown at me that I feel comfortable with while I'm a student so that when I go into the real world there's not anything that I don't feel I can conquer and solve. Patients we serve here on the south side area of Chicago, it's a very underserved community. So a lot of the patients we see here unfortunately have a lot of systemic health problems as well as ocular problems like diabetes, you see glycoma, you see high blood pressure. These are all things that you know can have a significant impact on your vision. So you have to spend a lot of time with the patients because it's sort of what their conditions kind of necessitate because they do need extra care because they have a lot going on. The fact that the IEI sees so many diverse patients is probably something that you know, I'll always appreciate. You know, you'll be in clinic and sometimes I see this rare case and I probably will never see this again. And so I think that's what makes the IEI so diverse is that the patients that come here are also so diverse and that's what separates it from any other eye institute that you would probably go to. I think that my experience here at ICO and living in the Bronzeville community and getting to experience life here near where my patients live has been a really big um, connection between me and my patients. We have something to talk about. I feel like they you know, trust me more because I'm you know, in the same community that they are. And I think when you have that you know, level of trust, it makes for a better doctor-patient relationship. And I think it builds my confidence when I'm doing my exams on my patients. So I've had a, a bunch of experiences here in clinic um, that have been impactful on me. Uh, I would say a majority of them, again, just being you know one of the few African Americans here at ICO, especially as a male, I have a lot of experiences with patients that are you know showing their appreciation and um, just thanking me the fact that they're able to see a familiar face here at ICO, uh, especially again, uh, just tying into the fact that there aren't a lot of Black ODs, especially men, in the field. Just as soon as a patient sits in their chair, obviously you can look at their medical records and you know know that they're from the community and being a part of the community is uh, something that you should take pride in because again, you're treating your people. I'm looking at the patient as if, you know, they're my mother, they're my grandmother. So again, um, I would say that I have a very large sense of pride when it comes to uh, being able to be that face here for patients that are looking for someone they can relate to. It feels really good to serve um, the Bronzeville community that we live in. Um, I'll see, I don't know, you see people just like walking down the street and they could be your patients and it just feels like I don't know, it feels like home and that you're helping people out. Um, I know they really appreciate it. All the patients are so nice. So when I think about my patient encounters at ICU, one of the things that really stands out to me is when I have patients that are coming to ICO for the first time and maybe they had conditions they didn't understand or things that weren't fully explained to them in the first place. And so I really enjoy when I see patients for the first time and we get the chance to really take our time and go through things with the patient because we are so thorough here. It makes me feel like I'm making a difference for them. I really like the look on a patient's face when I can tell that they really are understanding what I'm trying to explain to them. And so I feel like I really get that um, with the new patients. I had a patient come in a couple weeks ago and she was brand new. Starting out, I didn't know anything about her past ocular or medical or history or anything like that. You know, and she was having some kind of uh, strange complaints with her vision because she said she was previously diagnosed with another ocular condition, but she didn't know what it was called or exactly how it affected her vision. But as I started going through like the standard exam and like what they taught us and how we're supposed to go through everything, I was eventually able to correctly come up with what she was diagnosed with before. Seeing how much people with healthcare issues um, depend on healthcare practitioners, it it definitely gives me a sense of of knowing that whatever we provide is very well needed you know and so the fact that i'm gifted with the ability to kind of take care of people's eyes and obviously as a doctor in the future continue doing that i think helping humanity and just people in need is a service that i would want to continue for for the rest of my life